Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you very much for being here this morning. Um, I think I wanted to just start by saying there's little doubt that the incorporation of green growth strategies into the national development plans can be transformational in its impact on the economies of the developing world. Dependence um, as net consumers, our dependence on fossil fuels has been debilitating at best and almost destructive at worst for many of our economies. Coming from a small developing economy myself and having just left one, uh, which is not my country of birth, but where I lived for nine years, Barbados, the former governor of the central bank indicated that changing from fossil fuels to green energy could increase their economic growth by as much as 5% per annum. Over one third of their foreign exchange earnings are spent on the importation of fossil fuels, a $1 billion for an economy with 200,000 people. So I think this forum is going to be critical in beginning to lay out some of the strategies that UNCTAD has undertaken to try to help economies to uh, meet the new goals. So today our member states are seeking to support a wide range of major international agreements, including the Rio Plus 20, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and its SDGs, the UNFCCC, Paris Agreement, the Convention on Biodiversity and others. In these agreements, countries aim to advance environmental and social objectives. Many member states also have forward-looking national development plans that focus on improving the environmental performance of their economies, reducing poverty, stimulating rural economic development, promoting social equity and generating jobs for women and youth. Trade, as we know, can play a powerful role in supporting these goals. And because of this, finding ways to support these goals falls within UNCTAD's mandate. In today's forum, we will present and discuss one important way that UNCTAD is supporting interested countries and member states in achieving these goals. Let me open the discussion by providing you with a brief introduction to some of UNCTAD's activities in this area. Specifically, we want to focus on the National Green Export Reviews, or NGERs, I think they're referred to. NGERs or NGERs? Yeah. <laughs> I'm new, so I'm still learning the acronyms. Thank you. Um, NGRs are an UNCTAD technical cooperation project designed to support the identification and implementation of win-win national actions for green economy that both sustain the environment and boost exports of locally produced green products. So you may ask what exactly is a green product? While governments continue to debate, well for over a decade now, on what is a green product and what is not, Consumers and firms in global markets have already distinguished what green goods and services are through their consumption preferences. We know that for developed country governments, these products include goods and services used in conjunction with waste treatment, air pollution control, water and sanitation, renewable energy and energy efficient technologies, and that they are negotiating a plurilateral agreement amongst themselves to promote their exports of such environmental goods. But global consumers and developing country governments know that the universe of green products is much larger than this set of goods. It includes sustainable produced agriculture, fishery and forestry products, organic foods, beverages and healthcare products, biotrade and other natural products, and ecotourism services among others. As we will learn today, developing countries have strong productive capacities to produce and export these products to global markets. The global market for green products is very diverse, and although it remains relatively small, accounting for only 15 to 20 percent of global trade for traditional market, it is growing rapidly and significantly faster than world trade. Estimates for the 2018 global market volumes of green products are impressive. It constitutes 12 billion for sustainable seafood, 10 billion for sustainable timber, Organic foods and beverages is 100 billion. Natural con cosmetics, which I buy <laughs> so that I can look younger, is 17 billion. Biotrade products, 6 billion. And ecotourism, from which many of my countries, our countries benefit in the Caribbean, is 600 billion. So we know the potential of this to transform our economies in the developing world. 
And these green markets are growing rapidly. Current figures indicate that sustainable seafood is growing at an annual rate of 25%, sustainable timber 20%, organic foods and beverages 12%, and natural cosmetics 9%. These growth rates are significantly higher than the overall 4% growth rate in world trade, revealing that green products are very dynamic products with sustained demand in world markets. Certainly, market data demonstrates that consumers care about their health, their environment, and about socially equitable production and trade. As these dynamic green products hold considerable potential for developing countries, particularly developing countries with limited export diversification, through NGERs, UNCTAD assists interested developing countries to build production and export capacity of green products for which they have natural and comparative advantage. We work in partnership with countries to collaboratively identify promising green products, explore opportunities and constraints, design supportive policies and institutions, and define national action plans to deliver results. Our technical cooperation projects help boost green exports, increase value added and generate employment while ensuring sustainable resource use, promoting equitable production and trade and generating positive environmental impacts. And because in many cases we're dealing with green products produced in rural areas, our projects particularly benefit small producers and smallholders in poor remote communities as well as women. Moreover, our projects are country owned. We work side by side not only with policymakers, but also with producers, producer associations, and civil society. In all of these ways, UNCTAD technical cooperation product, projects on NGERs provide countries with real practical value. It is for this reason that the list of countries requesting UNCTAD assistance on green exports is long and growing. I'm glad that some of our country partners from 10 countries that have completed NGERs have joined us here today to tell us about their positive experiences partnering with UNCTAD. Let me also add that we encourage those of you from Geneva Missions, whose country may be interested in participating in a future NGER, to communicate your country's interest to us. In ending, therefore, before I hand the floor over to UNCTAD's NGER team to provide you with a brief introduction to what NGERs are and to introduce the panels and panelists of today's forum, let me thank you all for your interest and participation in this forum. I wish you all a very constructive discussion and thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.